that's my funny vibe. <laughs> that's actually making my knees go funny just hearing that. It's like I can still move it. Hi everyone, so it's beauty chat time again and I'm here with Lily. Hello. And we're going to answer some of your questions. And if you have any questions for future beauty chat videos, then pop them below. Because yeah. we always love to hear. So the first question comes from at beauty by Bexter on Twitter and she asks, would you rather have constantly smudged eyeliner, the proper panda kind, and she's put the little panda emoji, <laughs> or constantly smudged red lipstick? But like Miranda. Like Miranda sings. <laughs> well, as much as I would love to look like Miranda, because she is a babe. She's beautiful. I think, I think I'd have to go for the smudgy eyeliner, because if Mary Kate can get away with it. That's true. You know. So I would, can I? <laughs> I would have to do the same because I feel like when I do attempt eyeliner on the very rare few times that I do, it goes smudged anyway. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like I'm probably rocking that one nine times out I, think, I think we can get away with it. Lisa from Twitter or at in 074246 wow. asked, <laughs> what are some hyped up products that you did not love? I don't know if this is hyped up, but it is a new launch, so it's kind of hyped up, and I was really disappointed with it. And I no. knew, I know you're gonna be upset. It's the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette, and I was so excited when this came out for obvious reasons. It has you written all over Look it. at it. Oh, this is gonna be very reflective, but it's absolutely beautiful. It comes with a really good brush. It's got a whole line of mattes and a whole line of shimmers. So I thought it would be amazing, but. I found the mattes really creased on me and went all powdery and separated on my lid and then I found the shimmers were just too glittery. They weren't shimmery, yeah. they were kind of glittery. So I just was really disappointed and it wasn't like I thought it would be. I can understand your frustration with the shimmers. Thank you for understanding. I do love the mattes. <laughs> I do. Is there anything else or is that your one? No, that's why I thought we were only bringing one. Okay, I can think of two. Yeah. I just forgot what the other one <laughs> was. Okay, I can think of one NARS Orgasm Blush. Uh, I haven't we, tried Orgasm. We don't anything. get on. We just don't. It looks way too red on my cheeks, mm. really shimmery, glittery, emphasises pores. We've mm. never got on. You, do you like deep throat? <laughs> <laughs> no, I do prefer the deep throat NARS blush. <laughs> but me and NARS Orgasm Blush, it's the no, -no. Okay, the next question, if we can get it all together, from at Kaylee underscore hearts on Twitter says, you're going out but running late, what's your go-to night out makeup? Go on, go for okay. it. Um, I didn't have much time to prep, so I literally did, like, like I was going out, <laughs> I was like, grab the things that I would do. So if I didn't have much time and I already had my day makeup on, I think the things that I would just add to it to make it evening appropriate under my, under my um, little thing here. Float makeup. First thing I would do is to kind of add some smoke no. to my eyes. No! Oh, we picked the exact <laughs> same one! We picked the same colour! Oh my god! I knew that would happen. Is it the same? Exactly the same. Yeah, so yeah. There, you there you go. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the By Terry Ombre Black Star in um, Brown Perfection. And it's just like a cream eyeshadow but in like a stick form. So I would just like put that in the crease and under my eye. It's really quick to blend with your fingers. Mm. Adds a bit of brown smokiness. I'd add a bit of blusher and I've picked the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Brush and Diffuse Brush? Blush? <laughs> and Diffuse Heat because this is kind of like a blush and a highlighty glow all in one. Love that one. I, to add a bit of kind of life concealery highlight to my skin, I'd use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Brush on Glow BB which I'm obsessed with at the moment. Um, I just put that like outside of my eyes and you know. And then for lips, um, Revlon Colourburst Matte Balm in Blind as a Bat. Spectacular. <laughs> Spectacular. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd do a red lip if I had a smoky eye, but I can always kind of dab it in just for a bit of colour. I can't believe we actually picked the same eye product. I can't product. believe it either. I have it slightly on my top lash line today and blended out. I've been loving this recently. Same. It's... <laughs> <laughs> I've been wearing it like every day. I love it. We are such twinsies. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like this for daytime and nighttime, but yeah. for nighttime kind of more kind of bold and less smudged out. And then also a red lip as well. And I've really been enjoying this from Bourgeois and it's their new Velvet Rouge editions, I think they're called. Nice this is the shade Hot Pepper. If you're into bold lips and matte lips, then this is just perfect. You can put it on, it will last hours. This stuff lasted about seven hours. 
and I ate and everything and it was still on my lips. Rachel, at fans of under slash Coldplay, asked on Twitter, both of your favourite foundations at the moment and why? I've got a feeling we could be the same here as well. Shall I go first? You go first. Okay, I do have two, so I'm kind of cheating a bit, and I don't think you're going to say this one. This is Dior Skin Air Flash Foundation, and it's like an aerosol foundation. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just picked this up oh. completely on a whim. I actually, I'm not into the idea of this at all. No, see, I had this used on me when I was 16, and I went to oh. a Dior counter before prom, and they did my makeup for me. And when I look back, my makeup didn't look that bad, the dress. <laughs> the makeup was nice and they used this, I really liked it and if something can go through an aerosol kind of pump it's obviously so thin in texture, Yeah. it's so watery, so natural looking and I don't actually spray this on the face. I was going to say, doesn't it go on your hairline? It's a bit messy but I do spray it onto a brush and then blend it in and I'm just amazed it is basically invisible on skin. Something with a bit more coverage which is more medium to heavy coverage and I've been wearing this constantly since I got it, Nars Glow Foundation. Another blast from the past that I used back when I was in university. I think this is a great foundation yes. and I think Lily is gonna say the yeah. same. <laughs> I do, I have two with me as well and one of them is Nars, but I've had this, the Sheer Glow Foundation for years, but mm. I had it in like two of the wrong shades. I find it so hard to find the right shade. And then Anna told me she got this shade, which is Deville. 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 So I know that we're kind of the same shade. You're, always sl you're slightly lighter than yeah. me, aren't you? But we're normally the same. So I went to get it, and now I've got the right shade. I've been wearing it every day for the past week, and I'm obsessed with it. So great. Thanks. That's the right one. Um, I've also been loving the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, which I know you like as well. I like that one as well. Um, that's kind of like a cheaper alternative, but also really, really nice. Just easy, every day, easy to wear. Final question comes from Sophie at Dolly D on Twitter and she asks, what are your top three makeup brushes? And earlier I tried to guess these and Lily said I got them all wrong. Yeah, she, so, she only got one, one right. Go on, show me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the first one that you did manage to guess is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Do you have this one as well? I don't actually have it in my top three picks. I think it'd be quite sure. Well, I use this every single day. That's why I had to add it in. I use this for my foundation. I have two of them. I don't know if it's like the best quality brush because I feel like I do need to replace it um, after a while yeah. but it's just the best shape and I found the best kind of um, firmness for buffing in your foundation so I love that one. My second one is the Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder which I use for blusher and you're lying because I said you're going to have some kind of like sheer no, But you said, you said, I said um, the RMK one. Exactly. Oh. This Damn. is the one I use for blusher, and Bobbi Brown blushes are so good. I have an eyeshadow one as well, which I love. Um, it's just perfect for blush. It's so soft and <laughs> fluffy. That was a great. <laughs> <laughs> the third one is from Zoeva, and it's the Luxe Soft Definer, which is like the MAC 217, but slightly fluffier. And I feel like it's much softer than the MAC 217, which goes a bit scratchy on me. Um, so I, I love Zoeva brushes and I think this is my favourite one. They're really good value. I've actually gone for the MAC 217. Oh, scratchy scratchy. I just think it's like the best one for, I'm not very good at eyeshadow or anything like that, but with this, it just makes it so easy. Yeah. I feel like everyone needs a brush, this brush or something very similar like this. You picked one. two brushes that I didn't pick because I thought they were too scratchy. This one is too scratchy on me. Oh, I love this. I love not, the shape. Not for, yeah, not for softness, but I love the shape. This yeah. is the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Powder Brush, I think it's called. Yeah. And for a really light dusting of powder or blush, or actually I use this for contour most of the time, it just goes straight in, do that, done. Mm -hmm. So easy. And then this is my new love. It's the Louise Young LY34 Super Foundation Brush. It's actually called that. Super. <laughs> and I think this is the quickest thing for applying foundation ever. It's massive. It How do you, huge. do you like dab or do you buff? Because it looks like it's really I kind of, Yeah, I kind of just, whoa, <laughs> it's a bit of a free for all. I feel like I'd put too much on if I use that. There's not much technique behind it, but if you're using something very thin and very sheer, like the Chanel Vitalimia Aqua, yeah. that's what I use this with because mm. it doesn't really matter because it's so sheer anyway. You just blend it in, love this. If you want very quick base, this is the one to go for. So those are all our questions. I'm always really sad when these videos are over. It feels oh, like they go so quickly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to leave more questions so that when it comes to my turn for filming next month, we have lots of questions to answer. So yeah, if you haven't checked out Lily's channel already, you must because in four weeks time, there'll be another video there. We'll take it in turns, you see. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.